Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm with Harry Nestling here from Ernesto Framingham. So I was meant to have a Case Luxem come, a 120 horsepower? 120 horsepower Luxem. But it's been delayed. So I've been given a Case Puma to try out. It's a Case Puma 240, mm -hmm. so that's 240 horsepower. 240 horsepower. 240 horsepower there. So we're inside it now. Um, I've never driven a Case, so it's all new to me. So Harry's just gonna go through some of the controls here. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So uh, I'll pass you over to Harry. Now we've got to try and explain what's what's okay, what. Let's get started. So yeah, inside of the case, um, you've obviously got your main console here, and then to your to your right as well. Um, to uh, yeah, standard, you've got your, your gear stick here. Uh, the only time in a case tractor or, or in a CVX gearbox you'll ever need to touch the clutch is just to simply get out of park, um, and then from there you can All take right, your forward and reverse gears. Um, you've got your lights. Um, over here on this this stick here, and then uh, your rear front and rear windscreen uh, wipers are controlled on the other stick over there. Um, on and then look to your right, um, you've got our uh, this is the uh, Cases Pro 700 screen. Right. Yeah. Um, so if we uh, we can turn that on, um, and then that'll fire up um, on the A pillar as well. Here you'll see um, that's uh, kind of all your heads up. Um, get rid of the radio um so yeah you've got all your all the information on the tractor on the a pillar as well yeah um so you so you need to have so you haven't got to have the screen is what you're saying you can, no, no so, so for example yeah. some some more basic spec um case tractors will um will come you can spec that without a screen um because yeah. um yeah n everything you need to know yeah. is, is on as the not, a pillar as, as not everyone needs a screen do they no so for example so the gps you want the screen obviously but gps is 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 is, is essential um but yeah. yeah we you know we sell a lot of um, yeah. a lot of tractors for sale yeah. for example for livestock farmers who you know might not who for whatever reason, yeah. don't need, don't need GPS, technology so, yeah, the whole time. All the information is yeah. on your A pillar. Yeah, excellent. Um, so yeah, the, the screen might be, but there's, there's no GPS hooked up to the right. at the moment. Um, but yeah, yeah, as you can see, there she goes. Yeah. Um, so yeah, on the screen, it's just a, basically just a more detailed uh, description of what you'll see on the A pillar. Um, so you've got obviously all your, yeah. all your engine stats um, on here as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it, it, here's the screen where you'd go through for um, set up all your GPS and all that. Yeah. Thing. So. so you, set your remote it's all fairly basic yeah as well. simple um so yeah yeah i mean that's the 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 the, the operator of yeah. the simplicity of cases something that really shines through you know yeah dare i say other makes tractor as a new operator you can jump in the cab and and these sort of things yeah. where are you whereas with case um we'd like to think that yeah it's yeah it, the operability does does shine through excellent. um but yeah you've got little features like you can adjust uh forward and back adjustment of your yeah. console here excellent. Yeah. um and then yeah beneath your seat you've got where you can adjust right um just everything there so your well. spools all here four spools so this particular tractor been spec with four um rear spool valves yeah um on this particular machine as well that's just your fine tuning yeah. of, your, of your front linkage and rear linkage um and then yeah so you've got to adjust uh adjust the height of the front linkage yeah so just twist the nozzle right rear yeah linkage the same twist that again yeah um two revs here What's uh, so you've got so this is the min and max revs so right. just driving over to yours now um i obviously didn't yeah. need max revs so just tone it down a little bit um still gave me the yeah. 50k Excellent. capability but you know there's no point revving the engine yeah for rev's sake and then there's three speeds is there is yeah that so, so, so there? something nice in the case as well you can you've got your pre on your april here you've got your yeah. preset speed so for example to drive to yours today i wanted to not waste too much time um and yeah get there in good time so yeah 50, 53k um but for example um if you're in work for example um cultivating um you might want to be driving a lot or you know once you're in yeah. work you might want to be going at um 10k for example yeah. so we can use the scroll wheel just here to get ourselves up to our, our speed, designated speed. speed yeah um and then just like that it's then ready to go for work and yeah no matter how far you put your foot down on the clutch there yeah or no matter how far you put your foot forward on the hand it's yeah. never going to go faster than 10k um and then yeah to simply select your speed ranges yeah, you just press the there. tortoise and the yeah. air there um so you can have like a work speed uh, and then like a headland speed exactly exactly so, so yeah, yeah so that exactly what we do so yeah so say um yeah fast so you've got f1 f2 f3 so yeah, yeah. Far, so f1 you might want as your work speed, speed and then f2 might be yeah once you've pulled out of work yeah. swing around on the headlands and then f3 you your can road, speed, road speed yeah for example. yeah, yeah. Exactly. Excellent. Excellent. excellent and everything on here is all layout where it should be if you know what i mean mm -hmm. um yeah, yeah. So, yeah, so for it. example, you've got your um, your pickup hitch in and out can be controlled in there right. as well. It can also yeah, be controlled from the spool, yeah. your spool valve as well if you've plumbed it in. Yeah. Um, 
Very nice. I mean, you, I mean, you've got preset speeds here, revs, yes, by the looks yes, of it. Yes, yes, yes. And then uh, behind you, you've got your PT, the PTO. Oh, yeah. Yellow lever, you've got the PTO controls Excellent. as well. Um, uh, but yeah, this, the particular yeah. seat that you're sat on is the uh, the fabric dual motion seat. Right, so well. that's a full spec. Yeah. Uh, yes, so yeah, full in case you have a couple of, of, of top spec seats you can choose from, um, you've got a leather uh, leather fabric combination or a full right. Excellent. seat. So, um, so yeah. Right, so we're now outside on the case Puma 240. Um, so, spool wise, you've got four spools, you said. Hydraulic top link by the looks of it as well. Yep. I'm all new to that, never seen, never used one. Um, what's the. Do you know the lift on it? Uh, um, lift, rear, link, rear lift on this is getting towards 8, 9 tonne. And the weight of the tractor itself? Weight of the tractor itself is uh, 11, 12 tonne. Um, so fair, fair whack. Yeah. Excellent. Um, Still on there. I mean, it's got front cab, front cab got, suspension, uh, yeah, cab, 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 yeah. To cab and rear suspension. Yeah, yeah excellent. Grand. So it's a smooth ride. And then all your all your linkages on the side yeah, here. Yeah, so on both sides of the, yeah. the, of the fenders, you've got um, you've got uh, linkage controls and PTO controls as well. Controls there. Um, you've got yeah, your your, your draw bar. Draw bar um, as well. Control as well on there. Fifty k. Fifty k cable. Yeah. yeah. It's got uh, twin LED flashing and beacons. beacons. Well, it's got uh, a big this, light package on it, hasn't it? Yeah, this track has been spec with our with the twelve LED light. Yeah. Package. So you've got yeah, three sixty degree um, LED lights on the track there as well. Right. And what other Puma models are there? So the smallest our entry model to the Puma um, starts actually starts at a 150, but most commonly right. you see a Puma 165. 165. Um, that is our short wheelbase. Yeah. Uh, the largest um, it then goes up to Puma 175, 185, uh, 200, right. 220, yeah. 240. This being the flagship Puma. flagship model. Um, but yeah, again, you've yeah. got some. Um, they're both available in our CBX and multi. And then the Maxim is just one down? Oh no, it's a Vestrum, was it? Uh, then it? So one down from that would be Maxim. Maxim. So slightly smaller chassis um, and then smaller horsepower power. as well. Maxim starts uh, starting at 125 right. horsepower. Um, and then you can also go get a Maxim 145. Right. So that is our largest four cylinder. Four cylinder tractor. And then you've got the 150, which goes up to the six cylinder. Right. As well. And um, yeah, very good, very good. So yeah, obviously wheel weights are capable as well. You can yeah. Um, Ad blue. This this tractor is Ad blue yeah. as well. Um, so you've got a forty odd litre Ad blue tank, tank on the um, and then I think a three three four hundred litre uh, diesel tank as well. Um, and then yeah, you'll see more of the Ooh. LED lights. For Has our this got a boost on it? Sorry. Uh, yes. So 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 with case the number that you see on the bonnet is always yeah. the minimum horsepower Horse you can right. expect. Absolute minimum. Um, this particular tractor will boost up to two hundred and seventy horsepower. Right. Yeah. Um, so yeah. And you got an air line here, unless you wanted to blow it out, run around there. Yeah, yeah so quite easy. A uh, little gimmicky feature from cases that you've got your hand washing, hand wash right station on. as well here. So just top up your soapy water in there, turn the tap, and then it'll come so out. So let's say you're so greasing or whatever. You greasing can, yeah. or it's popular yeah. with livestock farmers right. as well. So yeah. they've just you know just done a bit of work, need to get the tractor rather than you know getting yeah. back in the cab. They can just quickly wash your hands and get and it and, and yeah. ready, ready, right. ready to go. Um, but yeah, toolbox on the top there as well. This particular tractor is spec with front linkage. Um, you've got uh, a front spool as well for for implements on the front there as well. Um, you get front PTO as well if you want to. Front PTO yeah. as well. Yep, as well. Very nice. Right, guys. So we're now back in the case. Um, Harry's gone, so it's Sunday today. We tracked the game on Friday. Yesterday we had it on a gun trailer on a local shoot which I drove the tractor on, and it did superb. Really did, lovely smooth tractor. The seat is one of the main things I like about it. It's so, oh, it's just lovely. It really is. Um, what else have I noticed with it? It picks up speed really well. Um, you can, it's about 53K max speed you can get on it. Um, everything's all to hand, all your controls here. The radio's great, all your air conditioning's all up here. And this hand throttle, so when you're on the road, it's lovely. I mean, you can just gradually push it forward and it'll go to, um, oh, that cruise to what your set speed is on the side here. So it's three speeds. You've got, um, I think you call range one, range two, range three. Or, yeah, I think that's how, it, how they go out. So I had it on range three, which I had set to 53k on there. And I, on the road, on the main road, I could gradually just push it forward to where I wanted it, slow down on it, it's lovely, that really is. And your hand grips really well to it as well, so that's lovely. And um, yeah, it's very nice, 
very nice tractor. Um, but yeah, I thought we'd take it on the road and just uh, just so you guys can see what it's like. But the cab suspension is great as well. The cab, literally, you hardly feel a bump on it. You really do. You hardly feel a bump on it. Um, yeah, anyway. So far, so good. Very spacious. I haven't felt cramped cramped in it at all. It's very quiet as well, so I'll we'll start it now. So you have to hold the clutch in. Um, it's a shame I haven't got another camera, but um, so I can have one behind me. Anyway, so you hold the clutch in, turn the key. Obviously, wait for your lights to turn off. You'll probably hear beeping. Lights are turned off. Start it up. Very quiet. That really is quiet. Um, so yeah, so she's now going. So we're now going to move off. Uh, this is the throttle here, not the throttle, the shuttle. Uh, hold the clutch in here, push it back. That's now out of park. We're going to push it into backwards and that goes straight into backwards there. There's two different ways you can do it. You can do it on the side control here as well, which I'll show you. So we'll just go backwards here. Um, yeah. Got a hydraulic top link. I've never used one of, one of those before. Unfortunately, I haven't got any work for it just because it's so wet um, it wouldn't be more, I wouldn't mind putting it on, some, on a plough or a bit of field work that's not really the right time anymore a bit of muck cart would be nice so I'm not going to use a shuttle this time on the hand shuttle I'm going to use it on here so I'm going to press the forward button on here and it'll put me straight into forward there's a little clicky button behind here and um, yeah you press that hold that down and press forward and that'll go into forward so uh, yeah You've got your window wipers on here, but I'll show you the front screen in a minute. Front screen in a minute. Uh, you've got LED flashing beacons as well, which may look quite good on the road. You can see quite well. Uh, oncoming cars can see you, so uh, yeah, very smooth. That really is smooth. Uh, with the CVX trans transmission, I can hardly feel a change in the gear here. Um, you're on a very bumpy road. Uh, you can probably hear the window wiper. But um, yeah, I'm trying out this new camera tripod I've got here. So we'll drive it on here in a minute. Once I turn off here. Plenty of go in it. But it's just amazing how smooth it is. And for a 270 horsepower, well, 240 with the 270 horsepower boost here, it's so quiet. But it's very, very heavy rain today, so um, yeah. It's only going to be on the road today, so yeah. And you haven't always got to have the screen, you, you can just have this side here, which is nice. So let's say your dairy farm, well, not, not really a dairy farm, a small a small farm, you don't need all the mod cons, you don't need the screen. Let's say you're, you're running to a budget, you can always just have this side pillar here, which um, which all that information can be on there as well, with these little buttons on the corner which I'll turn the camera over in a minute and you guys will be able to see. You can probably hear the rain really well. Uh, I did have a few hay bales to move, um, but with this weather I can't do it unfortunately. But that wouldn't be putting this tractor to test at all. So, you can now see the dash here. So what I'm saying, you've got all these buttons on the side here, such as, such as your air conditioning, your spools, you can, you can all see that in there, so you can adjust it all. And um, so you haven't got to have, a, have this monitor, which is nice. So I'm now going back into forward. Um, the turning circle actually, that's another thing to say, the turning circle, I've never seen a turning circle like it on a tractor 
at this high horsepower. Um, yeah, so one thing I've got, yeah, I definitely got to say about it is the turning circle. Comparing it to another make, which I drive fairly regular or regularly on the, on a farm, um, a 250 horsepower tractor, and the, this turning circle on here is amazing. Uh, so yeah, literally, oh. Some places I thought, I had a trailer on yesterday and I thought, oh, but that won't be able to turn. And literally I could turn around this really tight corner here when I was coming out of this field gateway and it was super, really, that really was. Uh, I'm not sure if you see the, see the side here, but I'm going 54k at the moment actually. Um, so yeah, so what we're going to do now, we'll drive on here. So I'll go with 53k. I've got this flat out, this uh, this joystick here, pulling it back now for this corner. But so, your hand sort of molds molds to it really well. Um, so yeah, that, oh, it, yeah, it's just lovely. It really is. But let's say I want to push it right down, but I don't actually want to go 53k. There's a little scrolling knob here, which I can put down here and I can change it to 45, 45k so that'll just go to that speed and that's working out the revs for me as well so you get the best fuel efficient um, well your best fuel efficiency uh, on the tractor here and um, you've got this other knob here which will so this is your revs on the left here on the right here is how how hard that a rev so you can limit it so I don't want it flat out um, at eight and a half revs here, I'm just going to lower it down. So yet again, it means more. You're going to save more fuel. So we're going about 45k here, about 25 liters an hour, 24, and 55% engine power on here as well. So 273 hours, 235 hours. Sorry, this tractor. So I haven't done many at all. But it's just so smooth and so comfy. Um, the bonnet is a lovely style shape as well. Um, so, you, visibility wise, yeah. I mean, looking around and looking at the front, you can see exactly a gap from your from the from where your wheel is to the bonnet. You can really, really visibility. Well, really visible. I can't say the word now, but you know what I mean. You can see uh, your your visibility is great on it. So I'm going to push it right down again now. Still got it set at 45k, but we don't need to be going flat out. Not that much in a rush. But it's just so smooth. It doesn't feel like you're in such a big tractor for 240 horsepower. So we're going to slow down here. We're going to go right. So we're indicating right here. I'm pushing it back. You have got an exhaust brake as well. But turning circle is great. And how you have, I know other mates are doing it now. I'm just gonna adjust this a bit. Ooh. Your side pillar, I'm very used to having, obviously, your gauge all in front of you, but on this side pillar, it's great. Um, as you don't really want to be looking right down here, you always have this steering wheel in the way. You just see it all, all really well on the side here. Um, yeah, that's which I would like more tractor baits to do, but especially, I mean, case I've always been doing it. So um, yeah, case are the ones who started doing it. And uh, the pickup hitch on this, um, I lowered it down and I uh, pushed it out. And you can see it really well. You've got a mirror here on the side. Um, so you can actually see it quite quite well on this mirror on the right to me here, which is on the window. Um, yeah. But all in all, it's been a lovely smooth tractor to try out. But you'll expect, with, once we get the Luxem, which should be here tomorrow, hopefully, slash Tuesday, uh, we've got a lot of flail mowing to do with it, so we'll actually be pushing, 
putting the Luxon to test, I can't really put this to test because not being funny, it's not my, yeah, it's way too big for me. But I thought it'd be great for you guys to see and just to try it out myself. Um, so yeah, thank you very much to Case UK and Ernesto Framingham for allowing me to do this and uh, especially for the Luxon, that should be great. Um, yeah, so thank you very much to uh, Case UK. Um, you can see on the screen here, we're just pulling on the side up here. But you can change it onto here to your valves, for your spools. So just literally, you just click on them, and you can how much rate you would like on it. That's all on 100%. 100% oh, here. Um, you, you can set timers on them as well. And it's all really straightforward, is what I like. You haven't got to go onto another page, onto another page, just to get to one page. It's all there. Um, you can change the layout. So if you go back on here to the run page, you can change the layout on it. So let's say I didn't want to have the air, air brake uh, page on it. I can all, that can all be adjusted. Let's say I wanted to change it, I know, to my rear, my rear linkage or my PTO speed. You can just literally go onto it. Now you're testing me a bit. Um, I've got to find the right button. Layout, and you can adjust it all here. That's if you can see it. I'm hoping you can see it. <laughs> but yeah, it's all there. It's all fairly simple. You haven't got to go onto loads of other pages just to get to one page, is what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, very nice tractor indeed. Uh, very smooth, your, all your spools are here, you can have one spool on your joystick which you can change to whatever spool you want, green, blue, brown or black, um, yeah and your link arms are on here and obviously you can adjust how low they go under this sort of pillar here where you, uh, well this armrest, um, so yeah and it all moves with the seat. You also get a phone holder which is nice to my right phone holder here and you can plug your USB into there so you can charge your phone and the light package we had the lights on I'll show you guys a bit later but we had the lights on there and they are great um, and they yeah that basically makes day day going I mean night going to day it really does um, it's just so smooth I never driven a tractor so smooth um, yeah Got a little fridge in here on the side, which is run by the air conditioning. The radio is great, Bluetooth radio. Um, yeah. All in all, a lovely tractor. So yeah. Anyway, I'll leave it there. I think there's not much more to say. Definitely try one out. Um, turning circles is superb. It really is. But that's that's enough of me um, rattling on here. You've probably heard enough of my voice one day anyway. But yeah, keep an eye out for the case Luxon video. I'll show you one of the examples of the turning circle here. So we can just to go to this little gateway on the left here. How sharp is that? That is what you call a proper turning circle. If you saw that, if my, if my head wasn't in the way. Um, so yeah, it is lovely. One more thing to say, the leather steering wheel is lovely as well. The leather steering wheel, how lovely can that be? Let's say you wanted to change your spool on the joystick here. Uh, I'm not sure what the proper name is. It's quite easy to do. You go, it'll come up for the flow rate and you go across. You've got all these different pages here for timers to reconfigure and you can see he's got the spools on here it's got number two the blue one on it you can change that to uh let's say spool green and press ok and that's changed the spools here the same with here you can change them on no you can't change them on there sorry but you've got this little joystick here which is set for the front loader not front loader you can have a front loader on this can you i'm pretty sure you can i've seen photos on it but you can have that for the front loader or you have that, so I push it to the right and left, and my spool will, not my spool, my blue, um, yeah, my blue spool will uh, will go to that, to my command on there. So pushing it in and out. Um, and then 
up and down I've got it set for the front linkage here there's nothing on the front at the moment but yeah as you said as I said that you can you can adjust them to what you want so it's pretty cool that's all on there but yeah it's all fairly simple once you get your head around it it's like everything you've got to get your head around it or, yeah you've got to get your head around it and then you know know where you are on it so uh, I'm slowly getting used to it yeah I quite like it to be honest your GPS would be on the side here I don't know what the GPS is like I have not used case GPS before sorry one more thing if you can see the revs down here on the right hand side on 850 as soon as I get off the seat you watch it it's on 850 still that, that drops down see that's now dropped down to 650 and as soon as I sit back on it it's now revved up again so that is interesting to see I don't really know what the reason that is um, maybe so the track is ready for you to go as you sit on it so it knows it's about to go somewhere I don't know but yeah that's pretty interesting to see so yeah that should be the last bit now sorry excellent so if you want to get in contact uh, getting a case Puma or another case I'm getting a well Luxon's hopefully coming soon Luxon, yeah. so that'll be perfect for me but this will be just interesting to try um, it's got the pillar on the side I think the Maxim's got one Is it, the Maxim's got the pillar on the Maxim. side just so I can get used to that uh, as well so it's be interesting to see uh, unless I do get a bit bigger wanting something a bit bigger hiring tractors out maybe this might be a good choice to get um, so yeah so you can contact Harry if you go on to or, or Google Ernesto Framingham Power, no, Ernesto Power Framingham um, and they'll definitely sort you out. So thank you very much for watching the video, make sure you hit a hit like, like button, comment and um, subscribe for more videos to come.